Well, good morning and blessings, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And if that brings joy to your hearts this morning, we should say together, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lamb of glory, hallelujah, amen. Well, friends, today is July 4th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of, again, Philippians chapter 1, and we're going to look at verse 27. And what we're going to discuss today is a standard. And in order to understand what I mean by that, let's read together in verse 27. Let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. Now, there's an assertion here that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. So Paul is telling the Philippian church, whether I'm with you or whether I'm not, I want you to behave in a certain way. But let's just take out that insertion and let's read the passage. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. So what is the purpose of the gospel of Christ, the message of Jesus? It is to stand fast, steadfast, in one spirit, one mind, working together to take the gospel forward. Listen to how the Message Bible says it. Meanwhile, live in such a way that you are a credit to the message of Christ. Let nothing in your conduct hang on whether I come or not. Your conduct must be the same whether I show up to see things for myself or hear it from others. Stand united, singular in vision, contending for people's trust in the message, the good news, not flinching or dodging in the slightest before the opposition. Let your behavior, your lifestyle, bring credit to the Lord Jesus. Friends, that is a mouthful and much to live up to, but we can do it because he has given us his spirit that gives us the ability to be able to live it out on a moment-by-moment -moment basis. Disciplining ourselves to measure and evaluate every word, every thought, every action before we do them, before we think them. And he says, I want you to stand in this truth. I don't want you to be swayed by the circumstances of this life. When bad things happen to you, I still want you to give glory and praise to God because our circumstances in this life do not dictate our behavior. And finally, he says, I want you to be of one spirit and one mind. In other words, I want you to have a standard. Now, in the day that Paul wrote this to this Philippian church, their standard was twofold. First, it was the standard of the old covenant the writings of Genesis to Malachi. But their second standard, they were looking to the elders of the church, the leadership of this new following of believers of the Lord Jesus, and those whom they looked to the most were the disciples that walked with Jesus, that carried the message of Jesus after he is no longer here to carry it himself. And so the disciples are telling these new followers what it was that Jesus spoke. And as new followers of the Lord Jesus, it was their utmost desire to do what Jesus taught. Now, fast forward 2,000 some years, and here we are today saying, well, what is to be our standard? And our standard is the Word of God, friends, the Holy Bible from Genesis to Revelation. This is our rule book. This is our mode of conduct. This is our instruction manual. As someone once said, B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. This is our map to heaven. And so every question in this life has to be measured by what this Bible says. How do we view politics? It's in here. How do we view the LGBTQ community? It's in here. How do we view the legalization of marijuana? It's in here. How do we view marriage? It's in here. 
How do we view the lottery? It's in here. How do we view tithing? It's in here, friends. How do we view women pastors? It's in here. How do we view ISIS? It's in here. How do we view rock and roll and country? How do we view movies? How do we view television? How do we view the end times? How do we view how we spend our money? How we spend our time? All of the answers to these questions and more friends are contained within the Word of God, within this Bible, within these pages. And if you can't find the answer in here, you haven't looked hard enough. And so our text tells us, be of one spirit, one mind. Do not be every man doing what is right in his own eyes. Have a standard, hold it high. And together as the people of God, press on to meet that standard. And if one man says it's right and another man says it's wrong, who cares? What does the Bible say about it? And that's what you are to rule your life by. So in summary, let every detail of your life bring credit, glory, and honor to the Lord Jesus. And when in question, turn to the holy word of God and allow it to be your rule for life. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so grateful that you stopped and spent a few moments with us today. I pray that this word has inspired you, has encharged you, that you can go forth as a faithful soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you can fight a battle that is easily won as long as you remain in him. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.